we give thanks to God for the gift of marriage. And before these witnesses, I now pronounce you man and wife. You can't marry him. When I love him so much. He's rich and famous and I'll never see you again. Perfect. Welcome home. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Well, I shall go and help John. You cannot help him with his work. You have married no ordinary man. This was purchased in celebration of your nuptials. John's writing has made painting so celebrated. Charles was just telling us about the excellent response to John's new book. The action's been overwhelming. It's been called the greatest teacher of our day. What shall we do? What do married people do? I have as little idea as you. How do you do? I'm Mrs. John Ruskin. I know who you are. But who are you when you are not Mrs. John Ruskin? I keep thinking I've made a terrible mistake. It is just the married life. She's not happy. No more were you at the beginning. What happens? You make them sound like dragons in a fairy tale. We have to look after you. John, you seem to pay no mind to the safety of your wife. Women should depend on themselves. I'm sick of my aim. I don't know how you bear it. I cannot bear to witness any more of your torture when I cannot do anything. Mrs. Ruskin says you should take this. I will not. She means to poison me. Do not push me any further, Euphemia. You forget where you are. You forget who you are. I am his wife. <laughs> I cannot go back.